I've been wanting to put together a mineral shadow box for a while. I have a frame that I got from a hobby store. I'm not using the glass because I don't need it and it's got a good little depth so I can put some rocks in there. I'm going to use a regular glue gun with glue sticks and my minerals. There's some tourmaline, there's some kunzite in here, amethysts, citrines, quartzes, micas. We're going to pile them all together and see what happens. First I'm going to put in some fairy lights because I want it to light up afterwards. These were a little bit difficult to start out with, but I got them going. I wanted to put the lights around the outside of the box and I tried to anchor it with some glue, with some hot glue. It didn't work out very well. It was unnecessary, but I'll know for next time. So I just put the lights in around the bottom and around the edges and then I'm going to put my rocks on top of the lights and inside like put the lights on top to see what I could come up with. Because some of the rocks had some not really even bottoms I had to kind of mess with how and where to put the hot glue to make them stick inside the box. But it all worked out. Right now there's some tourmalines. The tourmaline is a little bit um, flaky, so I had some little pieces that came off, but I worked with it. I did try to kind of pre-fit my rocks in to see where they might want to go or might fit inside the shadow box before I started gluing everything in. But my plan didn't really work out. <laughs> I, I just kind of winged it when I started. So with all of the little pieces, kind of a trial and error. Not really sure where they're going to fit or how they're going to work with the lights. Some pieces went right in and some pieces or some spaces took a little bit of finding. The bottom of the box was a lot easier to fill up than the middle and the top of the box. I think because I started out with two large pieces that really took up a lot of space, a big piece of tourmaline and a big piece of citrine, that helped out a lot. And then the quartz piece in the middle, that was a good find too. That seemed to nestle right in on top of the tourmaline, which was nice. And I really wanted to use that piece of selenite, but it ended up not going into the box. I'm not 100% sure. It'll probably go into another box. So that is a little piece of azurite that I got, and it's not a really um, classically pretty piece. It's not shiny, it's not sparkly, but it just seemed to fit inside the box, right inside that spot. One thing I'm glad I didn't do is try to glue down all the lights. So I could pick the wires up and wrap them around the rocks whenever I needed to. They could go underneath the clearer rocks or the more translucent rocks, but they could go on top of the opaque rocks. And I tried again with the selenite and it just didn't work. This was a really nice piece of chalcedony, but it was kind of domed. So I just had to try and glue the out, outer rim of the underneath of the piece so that it would fit inside the box and stay. Because I took out the piece of glass that came with the frame, I could kind of layer rocks up past the top of the frame so that they kind of stuck out, which was really helpful because not all the rocks were flat, not all the rocks were the same size. So when you look at it from the side, you had some pieces that were kind of 3 d in themselves right out of the frame. As I kept going, I started to find, I found myself starting to not just fill up the box, but then I'd find other little pieces that I wanted to put back over rocks that I'd already put in my box, which was kind of cool. I layered them up, I filled crevices, I added pieces. I even had a broken trilobite that I put on top of the citrine. I had some exposed wires from the fairy lights but I'd figure what I'd do is go back over those and add some little rocks to cover them up later.
filling the upper right hand corner was a little bit harder than I anticipated. I think because I got constrained by size and by shape because I was running out of room. I think the next time I make one, I might try and start from the outer edges and work towards the center more. That way I can really fit all the rocks that I want to fit in there and I'm not just constrained by what will fit in. But I think that came out pretty good. The top part of the frame got a little difficult. I was running out of room, I couldn't find the right pieces to fit, and so there were some pieces that I would try and it didn't work and I'd have to pull them back out. But luckily I was using hot glue, and the hot glue you can just peel right off the minerals with no harm done. You do have to be a little bit careful with things like the gypsum rose or the selenite or the pieces of mica. Those could have been easily broken by, this, by peeling off the glue from them. But the quartzes and stuff, they fared really well. As I got closer to being done, I went back through and I added some stuff. I added a piece of copper to cover the wire from the fairy lights. My trilobite didn't stick to my citrine as well as I wanted, so I fixed it. And then there were just little spots that I wanted to fill. I didn't feel like I needed to completely cover the back of the box. I just didn't want any big gaping holes. I like the mix of color and texture and size in the box. I was really happy with the way it came out. I did have a few little tiny pieces that I thought I would just add just because I like to layer and sometimes I'm a little overboard, but I'm okay with it. I used my round nose pliers to pull out any glue strings that I had left over. And they actually really came in handy because this little spot had a big glob of glue, but the pliers took care of it. I had one more wire that I wanted to cover up, and I ended up using another piece of tourmaline. I'm really, really happy with the way my mineral box came out. I love the lights, I like the minerals that I chose, and I think it all came together really, really well. It looks good with the lights on or off. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope you attempt your own mineral box too.